right-wing terrorist Anders Breivik sued the government of Norway for violating his human rights. And the decision in the case is pretty surprising, if I don't say so myself. So, Haretz explains here, Norway has violated the human rights of the right-wing extremist Anders Breivik by exposing him to inhuman and degrading treatment during his imprison imprisonment for terrorism and mass murder, a Norwegian court has ruled. Breivik, who killed 77 people in July 2011 in the country's worst act of violence since the Second World War, took the Norwegian authorities to court last month, alleging that the solitary confinement in which he had been held for nearly five years breached the European Convention on Human Rights. All right, now let me pause here. When I hear solitary confinement, the first thing I think of is solitary confinement in the United States of America, which I think is cruel and uh, inhumane. Because what they do is they quite literally throw you in a very tiny cell, no furniture, no nothing, just a cell. This, oftentimes they just make it dark and you just have to stay there in solitary confinement. No connection to anybody and it could be for a really long time. I think now there are rules that mandate how long you can go, but those are conditions to make a person go uh, fucking crazy, okay? So that I do believe is actually a form of torture when it's real, when it's real uh, solitary confinement. What happened with Brevik here, I'm going to let you decide if you think it's solitary confinement or not. So Judge Helen Andenes Sekulik of the Oslo District Court ruled that the Norwegian state had indeed broken Article 3 of the convention. She said, The prohibition of inhuman and degrading treatment represents a fundamental value in a democratic society. This applies no matter what, also in the treatment of terrorists and killers. All right, again, so that standalone comment, that's a reasonable thing to say. But I'm going to leave it up to you whether or not you think this, this really is solitary confinement and whether or not you really think this is, uh, you know, cruel punishment. So the judge ordered the government, first of all, pay Brevik's legal costs of 35,000 euros. Uh, and now he can no longer be held in isolation. So what are his conditions like right now that led to this outrage and this lawsuit and him winning the case? Well, he has uh, three cells, one for sleeping, one for exercising, one for studying, uh, and as well as the use of an exercise yard. So he has three cells and his own yard. Interesting. Uh, he's allowed to cook and wash his own clothes. He has regular contact with his family, including uh, phone conversations with a female friend. Hmm. He has access to lawyers, a priest, health professionals, and other prison staff. Uh, he got to build a gingerbread house as part of a prison competition. Newspapers, television, and a, a PlayStation 2. He also has. Okay, let's reflect on that one for a second. Newspapers, television, and a PlayStation 2. More. He declined the opportunity to play chess with volunteers. So he had that opportunity. Uh, and he also has a computer. Now, I mean, he has to undergo the horrific treatment of that computer not being hooked up to the internet, but nonetheless, he has a computer. So what has he complained about in the past? Well, let's look. His PlayStation 2 games are insufficient because they are, quote, outdated and not for adults. He literally, uh, that was another thing he tried to take them to court over. He's like, this is, this is cruel and, and inhumane punishment. Are you kidding me? You, you have, you've given me old games. I have a fucking PlayStation 2. This is the PlayStation 3. This isn't an Xbox 360, bitch. You gave me a PlayStation 2. How dare you? More things he's complained about. Uh, he was unhappy having to eat with plastic utensils. Uh, having to drink cold coffee from time to time. Only having access to one of the three rooms in his cell at times. Hmm, wow. Uh, not being allowed uh, postage stamps. How cruel. Uh, only being allowed to use the egg timer while cooking. And I guess not a different timer. Uh, not being allowed to use the oven to cook a frozen pizza, and again, having no internet access. These are the things that he complained about. Okay, so here's the deal, man. There is such a thing, in my mind, as being too far left. We've hit that point. <laughs> now, uh, again, if he were in conditions in the U.S. where it was genuine uh, torture and solitary confinement, and it actually was cruel and unusual punishment and inhumane, 
I actually would defend him because the whole point of having a civilized system in a society is that we're supposed to be better collectively than the worst uh, elements among us, including Andrews Brevik. So yeah, you do have uh, human rights and it's not, you can't just decide, for example, like, oh, I'm going to torture him. Like I will literally torture him. Okay, well then you become a bad guy too. So I would be against that. But in this case, they're just wrong in saying he's been mistreated. They're wrong in calling this solitary confinement and isolation. I just explained to you how it's not that. And they're wrong, and they're honestly treating him too kindly. Let the motherfucker be a little bit uncomfortable. That's okay. Now, again, it's a different thing if they torture him and if they really have him in solitary confinement. They don't. They don't have that. So he's allowed to fucking play video games, and he has a computer, and he has a fucking yard to himself. He has... Honestly, a fucking jail cell that's bigger than many apartments in New York City or L.A. And people are gonna come to his defense and the judge is gonna rule in his favor. What more do you want? I don't understand what more you want. Uh, do you only allow visitation? I don't know what the numbers are. Once a day, once a week, whatever it is. He's had the ability for a long time to write to people on the outside and oftentimes he communicates with other right-wing extremists. Why the fuck would you allow that? No, 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 no. Now, so here's the thing. The United States, we are too far right on this uh, criminal justice question. We are. We're just too far right. We're too punitive. We don't care enough about rehab. And as a result of that, our recidivism rates are through the roof. Okay. Now, they have fantastic recidivism rates in Scandinavia, so they're doing something right. But I would argue that in cases like this, you are, you're just too far left. You care... You're too kind, you care too much about rehab, to the point where a guy can kill 77 fucking people, and then you rush in to help him when he says he's slightly uncomfortable because his fucking PlayStation 2 game is slightly outdated. No, see, this is the thing. On criminal justice, I'm a moderate. There's a middle ground, okay? You don't go crazy punitive and lock people up in cages and damn near torture them and do what we do in the U.S. That's stupid. But you also don't do the super far left idea of, oh my god, you're a fucking terrorist. We're gonna give you a, a jail cell that's actually three jail cells in one. It's bigger than most- uh, than many apartments. We're gonna give you a fucking yard, we're gonna give you a PlayStation 2, we're gonna give you a computer, we're gonna let you fucking build- build a gingerbread house. No. No, no, no. Guys, we have to come to terms with some, something that's- that's real, but in- it, uncomfortable and inconvenient, which is that there are some people who exist that are beyond rehabilitation. It exists. Now, we can argue as to what the numbers are. You know, maybe most people are not beyond rehabilitation. That might be true. But sometimes you need rehab. Sometimes you need a, a mix of rehab and punishment. Sometimes you just need punishment. For Anders Brevik, he just needs punishment. The dude killed 77 people. He's totally unremorseful. At various court hearings he goes to, what does he do? The fucking Zig Heil when he gets out there. And you're going to rush in and say, oh, maybe we need to get him a PlayStation 3 or maybe we need to let him spend all day with people as opposed to just having visiting hours. Because this is cruel and unusual punishment for not being in isolation even though he calls it isolation. Fuck that. Fuck that. There's a middle ground. There's a, a moderate place to be where you're not so liberal that you embrace monsters like this for idealistic reasons, and you're not so far right-wing that you become the monster yourself. Let's find that middle ground because that's the right place to be.